got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite baseball players? Favorite baseball players to watch? Probably, you know, obviously Junior. Um, watching him, he was always a show. Um, you know, I was a big Mig Miggy fan, you know, South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Miguel Cabrera down there, what he was able to do. I remember he had my number came up. My favorite number was number 20. And he was the first one to have it on the Marlins. And so watching him, um, Manny Ramirez, you know, he was, to me, one of the best hitters, pure hitters. Um, yeah. I like that. I like that. Well, speaking of pure hitters, if you did a Mount Rushmore for hitters, whether you can have power, contact, combine them both, or just your preference of hitters, if you did your four, who would be your four? Ooh. Definitely Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. I mean, it's to, I don't I can, I can easily say like, you know, Hank Aaron or something, but he wasn't around in my time, you know? For me, I didn't, I didn't get to see those, the, the older generation play, you know, I was so a little stick younger. To, you can so stick to the generation you've seen. I'll stick to my generation. Yeah. You know, I say Miguel Cabrera, Manny Ramirez, mm -hmm. um, Albert Pujols for mm. sure. Um, Man, I think those are, those three right there is just, I mean, some of the goats for me. I mean, I mean, how many do you want? One more. One more? You said Victor. We talked about Victor earlier. Victor Martinez was fun to watch. Uh, David Ortiz. I think that should be the fourth. Um, yeah, so. Okay. A lot of good hitters. Okay, you know, for you, um, obviously, if you think about three pitches, if you have to think the best three pitches that you have faced in your time of playing baseball, who would be the three that you would say is your top three that you that you either like to face or the best that you face, in your opinion? I don't know. I mean, you got to go off stats for those. You can't just go off, you know, personal. I mean, my generation, I mean, you got to put Verlander, Scherzer up there. Ooh, that's two. That's already two. Um, I'm trying to think, man, some dogs that I went up against. Dude, I don't... I mean, it's tough. There's so many good yeah. pitchers now. There's so many, like, just aces out there, I feel like. I mean, you face Kershaw, I believe, as well. Yeah, Kershaw, you know, what he's been able to do in his career. Um, yeah, you could go with those three. I like that, I like that, I like that. When you look at um, baseball's embraced the designated hitter. Obviously, back then, it was just AL, no NL. But now that there is an exposition, and guys are being able to display just their, their pure hitting skills, how do you feel about that? And do you think it helped the game that we don't get pitches to hit outside of maybe old time? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great. I think it's kind of what the game needs. You know, the game wants offense, and I like you know, it. I think for putting in a DH, I think it definitely helps that. I like it. Two more questions. MLB to show the video game. Obviously, probably growing up, you played probably King Griffey Jr. Slug Fest like myself. Um, you probably created yourself. King Griffey Jr. on a Super Nintendo. Oh, wow. That was RBI a game baseball, right there. Was, yeah, yes, yes. But it, seeing yourself on a video game, what do you think about that? Honestly, I don't play much of the video games anymore. I don't know. I'm a little older. I mean, I, not true. Let me get this right. Okay. <laughs> I don't play sports video games anymore. So I play, you're a Call of Duty guy? Yeah, I'm more like a Call of Duty guy. Okay. Okay, so if we could put J.D. Martinez on any game not named MLB Ooh. The Show, I'm going to give you three choices. A Call of Duty series, maybe. Call of Duty. That's it. You ain't even got to go nowhere. I should say Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> nah, yeah, you put me in Call of Duty. I'd be happy. I'd be the happiest person alive. I like that. I like that. Last question. Walk-up song. The song is called J.D. Martinez. Ooh. You can pick any artist, dead or alive, to do that song. And they perform it live at the ballpark. Who would you want to do your song? Damn. <laughs> That's tough. You Obviously, you want to go with Drake, because I think Drake, Lil Wayne, they're the goats for me. But, okay. I mean, I don't know. I've always been a Rick Ross fan, you know? He's Miami, Ooh, okay. and he's got a little grit to him, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So. Want the boss, Ricky Rick Ross, Ross, the boss, baby. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> well, man, JD, man, I appreciate your time, man. Good luck the rest it. of the season, but thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me.